Welcome to Operand series. This series will help you to understand the concept of Operand, the main drivers, what is the technology behind the scene, and how Operand works. Also, it will cover some information about standardization, like ORAN Alliance, and working group, as you know, Operand have a main, or ORAN Alliance have a many different uh, working groups. Also, here we will discuss the main challenges and the opportunities of Operand. So let's open the RAN. I am Mohammed Abdel Monam, founder of Monam Tech 5G and Operand researcher and trainer. So let's start. Now, in first episode, we will discuss what is the Operand concept. As you know, 5G promises to change the game for all mobile network operators by unlocking new revenues opportunities. In addition to mobile broadband, the operator will be able to offer new enterprise service enabled by, for example, network slicing, private 5G, and edge computing. All of these services will be require a unique life, uh, level of agility and customization from network operator. So RAN or radio access network will need to be flexible, interoperable, scalable, and cost efficient. So these are some of the reasons network operators are interested in Operan. So let's start by the definition of Operan and after that we discuss why we need Operan. So as you see the same word, what is Operan is two part. First part is open, second part is RAN. So the first part which is open refer to the use of open interfaces. That mean you need first to understand what are the interfaces between components in the RAN. When interfaces between various network elements are open, hardware and software from different vendors can be used in the same network. Secondly is the open hardware and open hardware can mean of the shelf server or purpose-built hardware with interoperable subsystem and open specs. And third one is open software. And open software means the functions of the RAN are enabled as a software, making them more accessible to network operators. And open software may be used uh, open source code or closed source code. So this is mean of open when we are talking about open the second board is called RAN. RAN Access Network is not a new name, but it exists in 2G, 3G, uh, 4G, and also 5G. So when we are discussing a powered radio access network, or RAN is a major component of a wireless telecommunication system, as it connects the individual devices to other parts of the network through a radio link. So this RAN, will link user equipment or UE or the mobile over a fiber or wireless backhaul connection. And this link will go to the core network, which manage subscriber information, location, and the more. So this is the definition as a words from what is operant. So we are a care about RAN. So why we are caring about the RAN, we will explain. But first, we need to understand what is the RAN or what is radio access network, what components make up a RAN. So a RAN component is including base station or site you can see in front of you or on the top of the building, which will including also antennas that covers a specific region depending on their capacity. So it's provi uh, it provides access uh, to coordinate the management of radio resources across the radio sites, for example. And also, it, this component is made of three essential elements. First element is the antennas. And the antennas, as you see, is convert electrical uh, signal to radio waves uh, would be connected directly between mobile equipment and antenna. So there are a, like a downlink from the antenna or from the site to the mobile and uplink from mobile to the site. The second element is the radios and radios or RRH or radio uh, remote headwind sometimes in legacy network or 2G, 3G was on the uh, bottom of the site, but now it's called a uh, remote radio head. So we make it near from the antenna to reduce the coaxial cable between them. So this is transform 
uh, uh, the digital information into signal that can be sent wirelessly and ensure the transmission are in the correct frequency band with the right power levels to the customer. The third element, the most important element here is PPU or baseband units, and it uh, provides a set of signal processing function that make wireless communication possible through links or backhaul connectivity to the core network. And here, this is the key of this aggregation concept. So when we are discussing OPERAN, we will include some concept, a new concept. It's called the RAN disaggregation. We will disaggregate this baseband unit to three different elements. We will include all of this concept in the upcoming uh, episode, so don't worry for that. So just to, to rehearse this part, the radio access network is a backbone of telecommunication industry is a component between the user equipment and the core network. And without RAN, we can't do any communication between the uh, user equipment and core network or any operator. So here, uh, why we care about RAN? Why we started to discuss OPERAN? Why we are going to discuss importance of OPERAN? As you see, studies indicate that traditional RAN domain is the most expensive part of the mobile network, uh, around 65 to 70% of total cost of the network is hosted in the RAN. So open RAN primarily involved this aggregation traditional fit for purpose solution into off the shelf hardware and open standard driven software, thereby enabling a large, uh, or a larger ecosystem of vendors and improving also vendor di diversity. All of this uh, reason we will discuss in the next episode about why operant. okay? So the combination of the commercial of the shelf hardware and the standardized driven solution is expected to offer operators a significant gain in CAPEX and reduction. So in this case, according uh, to some insights, operant can reduce CAPEX by 40 to 50%. So the open standard uh, will provide faster innovation cycles, improve supply chain diversity, uh, encourage automation through something is called the RIC, uh, we will discuss also, and also will enable overall network TC or total cost of ownership uh, through like new shift of mindset. So this is just introduction about what is operant. We didn't uh, cover more about this topic, but in the upcoming episodes, we will discuss why is why operan, why it's important, why we need to uh, go or shift or make some trials uh, on operan. And please uh, don't forget to follow me on the my website, my uh, YouTube uh, channel. And subscribe just to get notification once the next episode to be uploaded. Uh, thank you and see you in the next episode. Please don't forget if you have any questions related to Operan, just uh, leave a comment on the comment section in YouTube and I will try to uh, answer as much as I can. Thank you and see you in the next episodes.